Welcome back. Apple posting strong results uh, yesterday, beating on the top and the bottom line. Joining us for more reaction uh, to the earnings, Wamzi Mohan. He is an analyst at Bank of America Merrill Lynch, raised his price target uh, on the stock. After Apple's report, the stock, um, Wamzi, has been on a roll. And the question is, how much more is left in the tank? With what you saw yesterday with, with that earnings report, does that make you certain or at least highly um, confident that there's higher prices for the stock ahead? Yeah, thank you, Joe. Good morning. So what we learned from earnings yesterday really was that you saw three major things. One, that revenue can grow without iPhone revenue really growing. I think that's quite material for the stock. Second, services is showing the reacceleration, and this reacceleration should continue strongly into 2020. And third, the install base is really growing very strongly. Uh, the CFO noted that the top 20 countries where the iPhone sells, in each of those 20 markets, they hit a new install base record, and that's key to un the underlying pinning of services. So you're actually getting paid to wait for all the new products that are expected to launch in 2020 uh, while there's very strong capital returns. So absolutely, we think so, there's a lot so of room So it for justifies that. where prices are now, that report, and, and the future guidance actually justifies higher prices in your absolutely, yes. for the stock. Yes. Pretty amazing. Uh, so a trillion and a half is on the horizon someday. You know, uh, when I talk to a lot of the buy siders, the view now is that Apple's multiple is re-rating in a similar way to the Microsoft re-rating that we saw from years ago, right? So there was a point in time when earnings were really not growing at Microsoft, but the multiple just kept expanding over time. And it really confounded people for a matter of two or three years. And the risk that growth managers see today is that they're very underweight the stock while this re-rating is going on. So we think that there is immense amount of capital that can be deployed towards Apple. So the, the AirPods, that's not de minimis, what, what they're going to sell on those things, is it? I mean, it, it starts adding up. It and does. To billions. Yeah, I mean, wearables have become a real category. Um, you know, we, when we first saw the first Apple Watch, it was something that people were not too excited about. You just didn't have great battery life, but that's become a real product now. At $200 price point, it's going to be a huge seller for, for Christmas. When you look at the AirPods, there's been inst continuous innovation. Now, you know, they have patents on things like making sure that it fits right in your ear, and it's just seamless. Yeah, yeah, good idea, finally. I, the 54% the, the in growth in, in wearables, how much of that was AirPods? It, it's, they don't break it out, Joe, yeah. so it's hard to sort of discern what, what all the underlying moving pieces are. But when you think about the volume of some of these products, right, there's... They're approaching in the tens of millions What's now. the margin? Um, so it's a good question. I think like it depends on what they're doing around with pricing. So for the watch, for instance, at 300 versus 200, there's a significant deterrent to the, to the margin structure. But fortunately, what they also have going on is that the iPhone has got super high margins with commodity pricing coming in. So they're taking some of that margin and redeploying it in other areas which have got a lot more price elasticity to demand. So it's a great strategy where you can move down on pricing in areas that actually can drive significant growth, whereas you're keeping the margin structure and the pricing at the high end of the iPhones very stable. Is any of the eventual business of, of health feedback reflected in the stock price, or is it still zero at where it is right now? I think it's still very early days from a health perspective, right? You heard Tim Cook say this is going to be the legacy of Apple right. over the longer term. And, and when you look at the longer term, what all can happen? Look, there's... So that's a, that's a call option. It, it, is, a, it is a free call option okay. at the moment, yeah. Right, absolutely. Absolutely. We got to go. Uh...